My number one marketing tip for Easter is something that you already are doing. And that is, hopefully, you're already creating a Facebook event for Easter on your page. Okay, so I know that you are like, well, Katie, that's not crazy. Um, but what I'm about to tell you is maybe something different outside of the box, which you don't normally do. Um to engage your page. So what I want you to do is to commission your people, whether it is your whole congregation or just a section of your people. I would like a department maybe, the whole staff, um, maybe multiple groups of people at your church. Maybe it is the whole church. Or maybe it is you go from the pulpit and you're saying, today we're being digital missionaries. Everybody pull out your phone um, because we are going to make a difference today <laughs> and we're going to invite everybody we know to easter okay so what i want you to do is i want um you to get in front of people and i want you to walk them through how to hit that they're going and that they're interested in coming to easter and if they do that uh thankfully what you can do uh what happens is that <clears throat> it gets sent out to all of their friends uh because then it's like you know i'm katie allred and it says like Katie Allred is interested in coming to Easter at whatever church this is. And then all their friends are like, oh, maybe I'm interested in going to church there too for Easter. I haven't been to church in a while. And then also what you can do is ask your congregation. So easy. Ask your congregation. Ask this group of people while they're being digital missionaries. Ask them to share the event with their friends and to actually hit invite and invite their entire friend list to come to Easter. Okay, so simple. It's not like they're having a real conversation, um, but I think it can open a lot of doors uh, just by doing this. Okay, another tip that I have. Uh, okay, so. I do want to talk about some social proof of that actually working and happening. So I did this last Easter. I actually did it with our choir. I said, hey, choir, I want everybody to <laughs> pick up their phone. And I had to walk some people physically through it because they were like, what? I didn't even know you could do this. So I walked them through. I said, go to our page, go to events, go to Easter, click that you're going, click that you're interested, you know, and I walked them through how to do that. And then... <clears throat> Immediate, and then I got them to invite their friends to. And immediately, within 48 hours, we had 14,000 eyeballs on our Easter event from 200 people engaging on to the event, okay? So if your congregation is only like 100 people, great. Maybe you can reach 7,000 people um, because each of your congregants has at least 1,000 friends each. Um, if, if, you know, it could be less, but most people on average have about 500 friends. So I would imagine that this is going to be an easy, easy way for you to just engage your community and invite them out to Easter without you paying a single dime to a Facebook ad. Okay, so this is like I would hack the algorithm, hack the system. Okay, so you've created this Facebook event. I know you're like, well, that's not crazy. And we talked about how you can use the Facebook event and you can kind of hack it um, in a better way. And then the next step, I would say, is to create a profile picture uh, that you tell your congregation to change their profile picture to this picture of Easter at your church. And because they're changing their profile picture, the Facebook likes the personal profile the most. Uh, they don't prefer pages, you know? So pages, the algorithm is actually pushed way down. It's like 9% of your posts are actually seen by anybody. And that's the worst. So what we can do to like fight that is by using personal profiles, which is why the event event thing works is because it's personal profiles, it's personal people hitting that they're interested in an event. But again, using the profile picture is just another way. So remember the profile picture is a circle now. So while you're designing it, remember you're designing in a circle, right? So you might make a 2000 by 2000 pixel image, but then at the end of the day, it's going to be cropped to a circle. So remember that while you're designing, like put the important information in the circle. You could also make a profile frame. Uh, if you Google Facebook profile frames, it's really easy. There's like a, a studio that you do it in um, on Facebook. It's really easy. You could do um, use Canva. Dot com you can get a free canva account totally free to your church um just search for nonprofit canva okay not canvas canva 
Com. And uh, it's a free graphic design uh, tool for uh, nonprofits. And it's just, it's, it's fantastic. So you can use that to make the social media posts for Easter. You can use it to design this profile frame that I'm talking about. Um, you could use it for flyers, that kind of stuff. Uh, but for sure, let's create an event, you know, invite everybody that we can to it, um, engage our congregation to be part of the marketing. You know, don't just say, well, I've created it and it's done. And just post again and again and again about Easter. I think what we have to do the next step is let's get people involved. Okay. So um, asking people to be a part of the mission of sharing um, Jesus, sharing the gospel, which is what we're supposed to do. You know, um, giving the uh, mission back to the people, giving the ministry back to the people, okay, and, and engaging them, asking them to do these very, very small things. We're not asking them, you know, to have a gospel conversation, which could be terrifying for them, and which they should be having, but we're asking them to do very small things. Invite somebody to Easter via your phone, change your profile picture to the event information for Easter coming up, and then um, invite their friends to the event. Okay, so I think these are great ways that are going to increase your reach. It's going to help uh, more people find you for Easter. Hopefully your community, uh, everybody will hear about it this way. And I think you're going to have an amazing Easter. I know I didn't introduce myself at the beginning, so I'm going to introduce myself now. My name is Katie Allred, and I am the creator of churchcommunications.com. Uh, I am also an assistant <laughs> professor, uh, which is why you see all these things around me. I teach software development and digital media and advertising at the University of Mobile. And so it's so great that I got to share these Easter tips with you today. Um, I hope that it helps you and your church and your ministry for Easter as we bring people to know Jesus.